Hey guys, my name is Martin, and it has already passed some time since my last screencast. I'm sorry about that. I want to change that because I like making these videos and it seemed like uh, you like them too, which is great. So um, I have to get back into the habit and wanted to start with a fairly easy and light topic and this is the keyboard layout. Um, I'm from Germany and you can guess it probably because of my horrible accent speaking English, um, which means I'm used to typing on a German keyboard layout and I wanted to, to, to change that because I heard that the US keyboard layout is all pretty much, um, yeah, it's really better than the German keyboard layout, especially for coding stuff. So um, I tried to switch the layout and I got used to it pretty, pretty fast. Um, <laughs> except for the Y and Z key switch, this is really hard for me to um, to learn. Maybe I just switch them and stick with Z here, like uh, I know it from German, because it's just that the typing is so ingrained in my memory, um, so it's hard to change that. Because about um, changing the the layout for the parentheses and the semicolons and whatnot, um, that's easy to learn. It, it takes you one, two days and then some mistyping here and there, but um, it's really, really great uh, to code with the US keyboard layout and um, I encourage you to switch to it if you are not already using the US, US keyboard layout. I guess the video is um, yeah useless for half of you, but then just switch off here. So um, yeah, I had opened <laughs> opened this um, this image for a while to glean at the at the um, at the keyboard. So because I, the the hardware keyboard on my MacBook is still German, <laughs> which makes it a little bit harder. Um, but I have an, an another external keyboard which has the has the US lay layout. This um, makes it easier to learn because I can look at the actual keys and um, look up. So, um, yeah, it's it's especially easier because all of the important stuff for programming is on the right side. You see, all the stuff you need um, is just here and here. And on the German keyboard layout, it's all over the place. So, you can be really fast. It's really easy. You don't have to make strange things with your fingers and um, I love it. And I think my next hardware um, keyboard layout MacBook stuff thingy will be um, in US layout. So, and um, since I'm using the US layout I got back into Vim and it feels a lot easier than with the German keyboard layout so yeah. The whole point of the video is give it a try and hi, I'm back and I hope you want to see more videos um, and if so, please leave a thumb up or comment or both, comment with things you want to see, perhaps it would be great. Thanks for watching and see you next time, bye! I forgot something to tell you and this is an um, Euro key or a Oh, however you want to pronounce it. This is a little keyboard layout which is um, available for Windows and also for Mac and it helps you if you are a German or European I guess um, because you can just click or hold the, the Alt Option key and get a number of um, yeah, a number of special characters like the A and this really helps if you want an US keyboard layout and a simple way to write German for example so you can just write whatever you want and then hit option A and get an A. This is really helpful and um, maybe I can um, edit the keyboard layout and switch Z and Y. This would, been, would be an easy um, easy task I guess. So just that is um, what I wanted to tell you about um, I put the URL in the video description or you can just Google EUR key. So that's all.
really by now.